uh, sitting here behind a coat. 76 wheel balancer. This is a bubble balancer. Okay, real simple design. It's got a, a bubble in the middle here. And let me take I can take this piece off and show it to you. I have a bubble here in the middle, right here, and then you just take the bubble and put it between the crosshairs. Of course, there's a little injector here for it, but uh, I've had this one here. I've had this one here for all oh, quite a few years. I, I picked it up off of Craigslist. Somebody had it and I traveled out to get it. I uh, got a really good deal on it. Sometimes you can find people that, you know, is getting rid of them. Uh, uh, you can pick up a pretty good deal off of them. Uh, this design here has uh, three leveling legs on it where, where you can screw them up and down and level this. And then it also it has a lifting right here at the top. When you put your weight on it, okay, and you've got your tire on here, it, it stays up. And then when you re take the tire off, it drops back down and sets there. Now, I've had this one, like I said, for a good while now. And uh, I've really never had any problem bubble, uh, bubble bouncing my tires. Uh, I can do the speed limit, uh, you know, whatever speed limit is, 65, 70. Uh, you know, of course, we all go over the speed limit. I've never had any problem with it, and, and if I did, I would just bring it back and, and rebalance again. A lot of people still use the bubble bouncers. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, uh, cheaper way to uh, balance your tire because they get pretty expensive taking them to the shop. And, you know, you can pick these up, not this one, not this model here, but you can pick up uh, Harbor Freight makes one. Well, they don't make one, but Harbor Freight sells one, and then there's some other companies that have the same, pretty much the same design. Uh, this one here, you can pick this, you can still find these, you can find them, like I said, on Craigslist, look on uh, eBay, uh, different places like that. I went ahead and updated to uh, the speed balance. You know, you start thinking, well, you know, okay, years ago we drove uh, 45, 50, you know, 55 miles an hour was basically the speed limit, and now the speed limit has rose so much that, uh, you know, and, and I, I kind of figured that's the reason why we went to uh, the, the speed balance and the bubble balancer plus you know the, the electronics too also but uh, the speed balancer actually balances you can balance the inside and the outside of the of the tire where the bubble balancer basically only only balance just one side of it you know the front side uh, but I've never had any problem with it you know I'm, I'm for sure other people had had any problem with me that balance them but it's still nice to you know to update things and, and, and you know from the but I like this in here I'm going to keep it um, uh, reason why is because people you know to come here if I change the tire or something for them they can you know take a look and say I look at that that balancer you know just just kind of look at it uh, I'll go ahead and throw a tire in here and kind of show you how it works I have a, uh, a tire over here this one came off the truck it's got a, it's, it was bent uh, it's not a really good example but I can show you similar what what it does so Okay, first thing is first is to make sure that uh, the bubble itself is in the center of that cross. And then by adjusting these legs, it's me in the center. And we take our tire. Now this one here has got, I've, I've already have weights on it. It needs weights. I'll take the weights back off of it. this and now when I set that down on there it'll actually sometimes shift that bubble in the middle because the weight's pressing down uh, let me see if I can turn this a little bit looks good okay and then in the front of course I showed you that lever we're gonna pick it up Okay, there's a bubble here in the middle. I might might be a little hard to see. And what you got to do is, I'll just turn the tire just a little bit like this. And we're going to be putting weight on that side. So let me turn it around. I ain't going to hurt it. So I can get it over here next to you. And 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see that bubble. It's a little hard to see it, but I'm just going to set an example for you. And then you just lay your weights over here on this side. And what it does, it just draws that bubble in the middle of that X right there. Real simple way to use these things. And you just move your weights around till it brings it close to the middle. Let me get one more weight here. A real small one. But you can see, like I said, this is a bad example. This is a bad rim here in the tire. It's really hard to hold that bubble because it's, it's going to rock there. So let's put it on this side. Okay. Now I can use different weights because we have them. You know, we have them like this. I mean, you can put a, a full weight on the back of or you can take some of these off and add I'm just kinda let you see basic what they use different types you also have a weight a stick weight and it's got adhesive on the back of it but I don't really recommend people to use them on these steel rims I like using them on aluminum rims of course it protects them a little better than drive something like this on um, these ain't too hard to use and what you do is I'm gonna have to I had to flip that thing off the back side and then you'll just take these and make sure you got one mark and then don't matter don't matter which way just longer right here in the middle and put you one more here and then this one I had it on over here on this side and then you lift that back up And then you just kind of watch your bubble, and if your bubble's in the center, then you're balanced. Okay, now our tire's done. Just take it off of there. And then stick it on your vehicle. That's just as simple. I mean, it's, not, it's, it's nothing hard to do. And then if you don't get it right the first time, just take a little bit of time and find the right weights. I know some of the weights are... I think these weights are kind of expensive. I think they are, but maybe that's the way they get you. I don't know. But uh, something nice to have, but, you know, like I said, I think times has changed. And uh, we went to the speed balancer because we're going a little faster. Okay, this is the Coat 76, M76. And uh, I think you can still find them out there if you're looking for one or something like that. Nice little design. Something nice to have in your garage. Uh, when you're out fooling around or something like that. So, okay, thanks for watching and uh, leave me some comments down below about it. So, okay.